Are you still here? Yeah. Can I see you? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. When Niles first told me about you, I thought he was just stating something about me that he knew. I was very <laughs> by that. Because <laughs> the way he presented it, so he was like, Chaz Bobs. I was like, why did he know this? <laughs> I told you this. And then he was like, no, he's another person. I was like, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> I thought you were just putting me my shit on blast for a second. I was like, Sometimes in the spring when the blood moon is full, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. Sometimes I do. Um, my God. Oh, man. I've been working all weekend. It's, it's crazy working at a coffee shop during Coachella weekend in Los Feliz because all the white people are gone. Yeah. That's all our business. Yeah. yeah, it's like the rapture done happened for white people. They just took them. <laughs> I feel like the last time I saw that many white people congregate together was during the 2016 election. Like, that was the last time y'all came together in droves for some poor good cause, you know, to overthrow the minority patriarchy occurring, you know. So we out here taking... Out here taking all y'all good jobs, you know, <laughs> mowing lawns and watching your kids, you know, all the jobs you guys love so much. <laughs> oh, man. I told my friends, I was like, I'm going to try and say, because I go real hard on white people about racism a lot. So I was like, I'm going to try and be nicer to white people. You ever feel like that sometimes? <laughs> sometimes I'd be like, damn, I'm going to try and be nicer. Like, I'm going to say, like, one nice thing to a white person a day. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you get. So I told my homegirl recently, I was like, because she's, she's always having these, like, woes about getting older. I was like, girl, you are going to age so well. She's like, really? I was like, yeah, girl, you're going to age like Meryl Streep and Death Becomes Her, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Shit's just going to start falling off and shit, but you're going you gonna to look real good, you know? $50,000 later. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, You know, I, it, it's funny because when I think about that, I think about, like, how, where did it all start for white people? Like, what was the catalyst that, that decided that you guys would age terribly? Like, who was it? <laughs> I think I feel like you guys pissed off a slave witch and she <laughs> put, the, put the roots on y'all ass. <laughs> y'all y'all whipped the wrong slave. She was in that plantation. She was like, and on the third blood moon, <laughs> on your fortieth birthday, you will get crow's feet like no other. <laughs> I'll be going from 40 to 95. <laughs> That's what be tripping me out when I meet like certain white people and, and then they're like, how old are you? And I'm like 32 and they're like, oh my God, I'm 25. And I'm like, in <laughs> 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 dog years? Like, oh, yeah. like, oh, oh man. Oh man. Um, I had a really good milestone lately, y'all. I uh, deleted all my uh, hookup apps off my phone, okay. and I'm so proud of myself. You. you know how hard? Because yeah. I'm trying to make a relationship happen right now, oh. and I don't know about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> dating, dating is hard, and dating is. Hard. What'd you see? No, I need to know. Don't be talking. About <laughs> no, niggas, uh, you ain't about to have me trapped in this death basement. <laughs> What did you, nigga, what did you see? <laughs> like, I don't play that shit. You know, I hear one distressful voice in the background. I'm like, I'm just going to assume all these white people jokes done turn one of them. <laughs> they were like, I'm tired of you talking about us. I want to believe that's how all mass shootings start. Just one. One joke too far, you know. One white, pe one white people be like joke too far, you know. <laughs> too fucking far. Nobody, I've been seeing this guy for three months, and I, I told my best friend about it, and he was like, and I told him we haven't slept together, and he was like, oh my god. He's like, bitch. He's probably fucking other people. <laughs> and I was like, well, yeah, that's fine, cause we're not, we just casually seeing each other. He's like. 
But y'all ain't like over at each other's places. I was like, why the fuck do gay people date so fast? <laughs> he was asking me all these like serious questions. I was like, nigga, I've only known him for like 12 weeks. <laughs> okay, we got to do better. We just date too fast. We we date in dog years. Like we just like <laughs> gay dudes will be dating for like three months and be ready to move in and have a surrogate on speed dial and uh, a dog named after a, a white bitch they don't even know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> call back. You guys thought I was done. No. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but the cool thing about dating now is, like, get rid of those apps, man, because I used to get in these hookup apps, and that shit is trash. Y'all think y'all have it bad? You ain't had it, man. These apps. Every day when I would check my app, I would get at least five messages. Out of those five messages, one of them actually has a person's face. <laughs> I want you guys to guess what those other four pictures were of. Oh, yeah. Dicks, assholes, <laughs> dicks in different positions, yeah. dicks from different, different angles, <laughs> assholes from different angles. <laughs> Imagine waking up at 8 a.m. with coal in your eyes, and you're like, I'm going to just check this cute little app real quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. Like, niggas don't even send you messages with, with faces or eyes or nothing. <laughs> just send in their dick. And I'm like, <laughs> does it come with a face? Like, does it come with a face? What do I do with that? <laughs> is that gonna greet me at the door when I open? Like, when you open the door, it's just gonna be a dick, like <laughs> a dick with a body and like arms and legs, just like hey, you know? <laughs> it's so bizarre, and they feel more at liberty to do it on gay because it's other men. So in their mind, they're like, he gets it. I'm like, no, I don't want it. <laughs> like, I have fucking dignity and standards and things of that. So that was the best thing I've ever did for myself. Also, um, being off the apps also was good because I got tired of being hit up by an older creepy white man who like fetishized me. <laughs> oh my God, I've been offered money for sex numerous times by a creepy older white man. But this, the, look, I'm not above being paid for sex. I, don't get it wrong, like if the money was right. The problem was the money was right, but it always came with like a weird attachment. They were like, I'll pay you to do this if you let me do this to you, but you got to let me call you this. And I'm like, see, look, uh, that's a hop and a skip, and we all know where this road leads. Because if you call me the N-word while you're inside me, I'm going to cut. I feel like this has been a learning exercise for a lot of straight men in this room. Right now. <laughs> you guys have been with me on this journey, so I was like, I'm going to just let you in and then introduce you to, a, you know, a whole new world. You know, like, it's just like, it's what I deal with, you know? That's why um, when you finally get someone who wants to actually get to know you, you latch on to them. Like that fucking thing in the Aliens movie. Like, you don't let this nigga go. Like, you get him. Lock his ass down. <laughs> you cut any bitch within a five-mile radius. Hey. Bitch, back up. <laughs> oh, man. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, oh, my God. I've been trying to, like, microdose the news. Because, I'm, because the news, because I'm like a really empathetic person, so the news affects me a lot. So I try not to read real bad shit all the time on the news. So I read one bad story or two a day, maybe three, if I'm feeling real masochistic, you know. And um, lately, the one that I've been popping up on my threads, all these fucking anti-vaxxer stories. I am so, t these parents are fucking idiots. <laughs> Idiots! Just sending their kids to school with these fucking black plague diseases and shit. Murdering all their classmates. Every time, they, my favorite is when they ask these people about why they're not vaccinating their kids. They're like, but Sharon, because you know it's a white bitch. But Sharon, why are you not vaccinating your kids? She's like, but the autism. But the autism, though. The autism. I'm like, bitch, your kid is not going to live to get autism. <laughs> The kid is gonna die before he can even become remedial. What are you talking about? <laughs> Crazy. I really, and I also, like, I have this, I can't shake the feeling that all these, like, measles outbreaks, like, that shit, these kids, 
are the patient zeros for the zombie apocalypse. I'm calling it right now. Watch. <laughs> yeah. You guys are laughing now, but wait till your face gets eaten off by baby teeth. You know? <laughs> Imagine just being fucking eaten alive by a horde of toddlers, like ravenous ass two year olds. <laughs> I'm the only one that fantasizes about zombie babies. Like, that's just me. No. <laughs> just imagine a classroom of badass kids. Just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it'd be the first time in my life I could just actively kick a kid and it'd be fine, you know? <sighs> I don't want to kick kids, you guys. That sounds, that sounds terrible. No, I don't want to kick kids. I think I've only wanted to kick maybe three kids in my life <laughs> one was my younger brother okay. the other was two little white kids at my day job and i don't know why they just like one of them just was a little asshole he kept putting his hands on things you know that thing that kids do where they start touching everything and they're looking at you like what are you gonna do and, you know <laughs> yeah especially little badass white kids dad. the dad was like hey, stop touching that and the little boy was like <laughs> he, had that fa- he had that same face that cats make when they get ready to knock some shit off the counter just like, I just looked at that boy and I was like oh, God, what I would do to just kick you right now <laughs> not in the face but just like in the shin real hard just like fucking like Nancy Kerrigan his ass just take his knee out or some shit <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible that that's terrible that years later I would make fun of that that's awful but that shit was hilarious I mean, it kind of was funny I didn't understand the time I was like 10 you know and she was just she, all I saw was this white woman on TV going why why I asked my mom I was like mom what happened she was like this other white woman attacked her she didn't even know the woman's name either, so it, she just took all seriousness from it for me. You know? <laughs> she was like, this, this is white or white crime on television. <laughs> on an ice rink somewhere. <laughs> Man. Did I get lit? I feel like, oh, I did? Did I? I'm good. All right. I'm going to wrap this shit up. I didn't realize like, I was sign my bad, y'all. Um, no, I'm cool, because I feel bad now, because did I like, oh, was it? Okay. So you got rocking with me anyways. Yeah. Rocking with me. Oh my god. What else am I talking about? Oh god. Oh man. Uh I feel great about being healthy again. I was really having bad health problems for a while. Um, I got a stomach parasite. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you guys, but not having a car made that experience awful. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, when I found out I had it, the doctor was like, all right, so we got to check to see if it's, you know, take the test, see if it's accurate. So you know what I want you to do? He handed me a Ziploc bag and said, you got to spoon your shit in oh. this bag and bring it to me. And I said, you want me to bring it to you in what? He's like, in this bag. <laughs> Yo, I had to smuggle my shit on the subway. (laughs) I don't know about y'all, but that was the most... (coughs) Just uh, just the lowest point of my life. I just felt like I had hit a whole new rock bottom. Because it was like no one knew but me, but because I knew it bothered me. (laughs) The whole subway ride, I was just like, you got a bag of shit in your mouth. Like, what if you fall? (laughs) What if you trip? What if a homeless person just runs up and just slaps you in the backpack? I don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. And it was hot outside. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was marinating. Um, no, that's not even the worst part. The worst part is I got to the doctor, I had to drop it off, and I go to give it to the nurse. Really, I was, I was being real incognito about it. I waited until I got right up to there, and I was like, I just like walked away really fast. And the nurse, before I get to the door, this bitch goes, uh, "Excuse me, excuse me, who is this for?" <laughs> In front of everybody, and I'm, I was just looking at her like, "Bitch, you know that." <laughs> She's like, "What's your name?" <laughs> and I'm like, She's like, and your last name? I was like, Carter. She's like, that's your last name? I was like, yes. She's like, is this your sample? I was like, take the sample. Take the sample. <laughs> 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 
I broke my motherfucking main Don't make me open it and throw it on you. Yeah. 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 It was the lowest point of my life. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm cool. Thanks, guys. That was fun. Right. Thank you guys. Yeah, Chess yeah. Carter! Yeah. Thanks for those Chess Carter.